Now, I'd like to start off by saying, Mike Shanklin, I like what you're doing here. I respect that you're getting the message through, and you're getting a lot of reactions out of it, which is pretty impressive. Especially considering a guy like me is practically underground in indie. Now, in your video, there's no such thing as good governments. You make a nice, I think, hmm, old school mistake. This mistake go dates back to King Louis the Fourteenth. King Louis the Fourteenth said, "L'état c'est moi," or "I am the state," when he really meant "I am the government." You switched to the definition for the state and substituted it for government. Now, I like to counter what you're saying. I like to say that there is such thing as good government, but there's no such thing as good states. Everything that you said applies to states, which is why sometimes you use the word state or something that's a property of statism. But let me describe what the difference between a good government and a good state is. Government's a protocol. Nothing more. And all protocol means is an agreement. It settles disputes when people would have a hard time doing so. It isn't necessarily meant to protect you or all these other things. These are all variables. That's the problem with the government we have right now. You see, no one is the state. You're right on that. The real mafia that comes from the state is when you just realize that the state has a bit of a control over government. But then because it's this thing on the top that's going down to the bottom, we can see that government's not going to be the same. It's not going to be a protocol for our agreements. It's going to be a protocol for agreements of states. What's going to happen to government? Well, government's going to be monocentric instead of polycentric. When that happens, you're going to have these bodies of government that try to do what government can't do because it's monocentric now. And we call these things corporations, these bodies of government. Now, they engage in some degree of market transaction, but so do governments and states. If I'm shivering right now, it's because um, I drank a lot of cold OJ. Yeah. And when you descend from here, now we're the ones who are getting our asses kicked. Just the people who are involved, whether we want to or not, in this scenario where these bodies of government are screwing us over. And that's what's the real problem with government. Government's being coerced by the state. Yikes. That's when you know we have a real problem. That's why I think that people who are Noam Chomsky fans, and I used to be indifferent to Noam Chomsky or disagree with him a lot, but then I realized he used to be an anti-statist, but now he's a statist. And what he really opposes are the bodies of government. Now, that's what his fans oppose, the bodies of government. However, to get rid of the bodies of government, you need to get rid of the roots of the problem and the extra issues that this thing causes, which are states. Because not only do states... But not only are states responsible for these issues of bodies of government or corporations, but there are also issues for other things. They like to wage wars, consolidate, operate on this failed pseudo utopian fantasy structure, which only makes us more blind and more confused. So that's really. Thing that there's no such thing as there's no such thing as good state, and you make a very good job of exemplifying this in statism and slavery.
Although I don't want you to get into some definitional confusion. That would definitely cause a problem. So I hope this helps. I hope you enjoy this. I hope that this really assists people. Because I'm done. I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to go take a shit.